how do you keep the lifespan of your clothes or how do you help your clothes stay longer for better how do you keep the colors brighter how do you ensure that your clothes do not look cheap or tacky these are the things i'm going to be sharing with you hello beautiful and amazing people welcome back Welcome to my channel. This is Tomi Adenuga. On this channel, I share a lot of DIY stuff, lifestyle, things that can help you generally in your home, with your skin, with your health, things that I generally like anyway. So today's video is particularly on how you can take care of your clothes. If you're someone like me or like a regular lady, everybody likes to look good, you all like to dress nice, you all like to like smell nice, you like to look good, you like to feel good, like, you know what I mean, right? But there are some things you're doing to your clothes that might harm your clothes and will not make you feel so happy about yourself or, sorry, not about yourself, about your clothes. And what are these things? They're like everyday mistakes we make and i'm just here to tell you about these things that i'm also learning from which you which you should also like learn from and should also imbibe and tell others so i'm going to be giving you the lowdown on like top things that you should not do to your clothes so that the lifespan can last or the lifespan can be increased i know you've not run out of clothes in your wardrobe we shop on a regular basis but there are some clothes that you love so much and you might not necessarily find again so how do you keep this from ruining on time you don't want to have like all those little threads hanging you don't want to have your favorite denim trousers like ripping or something like that or the color fading so how do you keep the lifespan of your clothes or how do you help your clothes stay longer for better how do you keep the colors brighter how do you ensure that your clothes do not look cheap or tacky these are the things I'm going to be sharing with you so if you want to know these things don't go anywhere keep on watching I'll be right back so the number one culprit or the number one thing you're doing wrong to your clothing is hanging stuff that should not be hung in the first place gravity is the enemy of like very bulky items very bulky clothes so, so you have like bulky sweaters bulky tops like clothes that are like very heavy and weigh like a lot of kg or something like that you should not hang them you should like just fold them carefully folding them will help you to like retain the shape and rather than it hanging where it can easily lose its form and it's just drooping like this folding it is going to be a lot better and that way even though you're looking for how to save space at the end of the day you're saving that piece of clothing so please don't hang stuff that should be folded so if you don't have like a storage space to keep your clothes our advice that you get like a bag or all these like low budget like storage bags where you can easily like fold them and you can toss it like under your bed or somewhere around the house where you can easily access it so the second mistake you do when it comes to your clothes or the second mistake people might do when it comes to clothing is not sorting your clothes according to the soil level when i'm talking about soil i don't mean the soil like what's on that word what's on that word for soil so soil i mean like when you sell stuff like when you so like so s o i l when something is dirty i don't mean like dirt i don't mean the dirt of soil like um sand or something like that yes that's what i was looking for i don't mean that kind of soil i mean so like when you sew clothes a baby spills something on the clothes and it sells that kind of thing that's what i mean so you don't sort clothes according to the soil level you should sort clothes like white that are white stay with white if dirty clothes are dirty put them with dirty stuff if like tea or wine poured on like some clothing items you should sort them according to the way it is sold so that you know how to take proper care of that if some clothes are white you can wash it like that if some others are sold probably if your baby like pulled and it spills out of the diaper you don't want to just toss that cloth in the washing machine like that no 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 not only like for poor anything like that nothing gross but it can even be anything it might be like for a lipstick mark it can be like for a wine stain it can be anything it can be blood stains anything you should actually like try to wash it first like to sluice it and to like remove the dirt around that area before you toss everything into the washing machine so don't put like semi-clean clothes and the very dirty clothes together in the washing machine you'll be shocked that by the time the clothes come out it is just there 
like that. The soil is still there, nothing has changed, it's still there. Your washing machine is working fine, but you need or you needed to have done something before putting it in the washing machine. So sort clothes according to their soil level. So another thing is that you should wash your heavily soiled clothes together, like with each other, so that this that will not also spread to all like other cleaner clothes like transferring sweat from like your gym clothes to like semi-clean clothes that you really do you really do not even need a long time to wash so just wash them separately the very clean ones or the like the semi-clean ones wash them separately the heavily soiled ones wash them separately okay you grab Another mistake you are making when it comes to your clothes is you applying too much heat or using a lot of hot water. So some people just believe that by the time they put their washing machine to like a particular setting where you use a lot of hot water or where you use hot water to wash your clothes, it means that it's taking away all the bacteria, dirt and all everything away from the clothes. I'll tell you this is a big no-no. It doesn't matter. Like I said before, if you have a lot of dirt on your clothes, it's better for like, it's better for you to pre-soak it, kind of like remove some dirt halfway before you toss it into the washing machine using a lot of heat like the dryer or putting your washing machine settings to hot using hot water is going to ruin your clothes especially clothes like cotton wool cotton it's better you use cool or cold water at the end of the day and just hang it there to air dry on its own it's better that way for you than for you to always use hot water to wash your clothes so don't use hot water every time allow your clothes to go through the cold water cycle and it will still go through everything and your clothes will be totally fine another mistake is when you don't zip zippers when you throw before you throw your clothes in the washing machine most times you don't wash only one piece of item you wash like two or three or a lot together I'm sure nobody really puts one clothes in one piece of clothes in the washing machine you put a lot together at the same time but what happens when you don't zip up that pair of chains or something it might get caught on another delicate item for instance a favorite top that you like or something like that so one thing you should do is to zip up your zippers before you put them in the washing machine it can get caught up on something which you don't want and by the time you're trying to rescue it something might happen it might rip it might not like the result at the end of the day so please don't forget to always zip up before you go into the washing machine sorry before your clothes go into the washing machine apologies <laughs> Another mistake is wiping stains from your clothes. So let's say you accidentally spill some wine on your favorite t-shirt and the next thing that you just think of instinctively is to just grab and just like wipe it. The, next, the mistake you're making is you're transferring the spill or the stain to other parts of the clothes what you should do is to get like a paper towel or like a cloth you're not like a recycled cloth and just gently dab or gently blot away don't swipe don't scrub like that because you're going to be transferring a lot more so let's say it was at 30 percent before before you know what is happening it has spread to like 70 percent of the clothes so instead just get a paper a paper towel and just gently dab or blot it away instead another mistake that might be made is when you don't wash your clothes before storing so let's say you're at a particular season in your life for instance a pregnant woman who knows she's still going to go on to have more kids and is planning to recycle her maternity wear should actually wash your clothes before storing or let's say you live in like a place that there are different seasons so you want your spring clothing or your summer clothing and you want to store it away before the next season comes which is like winter what you should actually do is to wash those clothes before you go to store them what you don't want to happen is when you bring it out after some time and you see that molds or anything has developed on it you should wash them to get rid of sweat to get rid of stains to get rid of marks and any other thing it's better for you to store it fresh so that by the time you're having it back it's still fresh that way you might not even necessarily need to wash it when you're bringing it out from your closet you can just throw it on and you will wear that way you also don't have to battle with the smell that comes with moldiness and everything like that so you should actually have your clothes like tip top stored well before it goes into your closet okay so for your workout clothes i would advise you not to use fabric softener fabric softener will just leave a residue of all those white things on your workout clothes mostly because of the kind of fabric that workout clothes are made of it's going to be like so streaky and you definitely do not want that do you this is one mistake i know a lot of people are so guilty of i know people in my household too that are guilty of this thing but i will not mention names 
I'm not going to mention names. The, talking about residue, the next thing that comes to my mind is using too much detergent. Who told you that the amount of detergent you use is what is going to make your clothes clean? Like, who told you? I'm not trying to be like gender, like selective or something, but I know some people are like geared towards doing this. I don't know why. Like, you put a lot of detergent and at the end of the day, you're struggling to like rinse it out. By the time you try to rinse it out once, twice, at the end of the day, some residue of detergent may remain on your clothes and you really do not want that. Like I said before, if your clothes are really dirty, it's not the detergent that is going to make it clean. Try to like clean it halfway, suck it or try to like wash the stain off. You don't expect magic when you just toss your clothes into the washing machine. The detergent is not going to make it clean, trust me. Detergent makes clothes clean, yes, but it's not about the amount of detergent you use. You have to like do like a pre-wash first if your clothes are really, really sold. Like if you put like a very dirty clothes that has a lot of dirt or something, it might not be entirely clean. You have to pre-wash it first or use like um, steam removers. I usually like using steam removers. It helps me a lot. I just kind of like soak the very dirty clothes in like with steam remover at first before I put them into the washing machine. That way when my clothes come out, it's like fresh and really clean. So just check out for the quantity of detergent you're supposed to use in your washing machine loader according to your washing machine size, according to the clothes you're putting in there and according to the soil level. Don't you just go put in like half the quantity of like for like how many washes don't put the quantity for 100 washes for just 10 washes nah it's not about the washing it's not about the washing powder or the detergent less is more use detergent but use it wisely use it moderately i know you know or you get what i'm trying to say okay the last thing that you do to your clothes which might make your clothes go bad on time or will not make it last is not looking at your clothes tags Many of us, again, are guilty about this. You just assume that it's cotton you throw it in the wash. You assume it's just like cotton wool or it's wool or it's um, silk. We know these things, nobody needs to tell you anyway. But the other symbols you need to check before you toss them into the wash. Like there are so many symbols there. When you don't understand those symbols, how do you interpret it and how do you take care of it? There are some clothing that are like dry clean only. The way you clean it in your house is not the same way it's going to be cleaned when you take it to the professional dry cleaners. So don't be surprised when you put in a blazer, expecting it to look good and it comes out looking strong and like disheveled or something you really need to understand your symbols some are like tumble dry some say low heat some say no dryer it's not every kind of clothing you can put in your dryer because the heat might damage your clothes so please guys before you toss your next wash in the washing machine understand your symbols use the right detergent get the right information on what you're supposed to do and you'll be totally fine so these are the few points i think you guys need to know or we all i believe everybody needs, needs to know i am also guilty i just recently learned this and i just thought to share with you guys but they also but they also Please, who is this person now? And when you are shooting videos, when you'll be doing crash, crush, crush. Oh. If you enjoyed my video, please don't fail to give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not been following me, if you are not subscribed to this channel, let me give you one minute. Okay, subscribe down below. Just click the red subscribe button and subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so that you get to know when I drop new videos. Thank you for watching this video and don't fail to come back so that I can see you. I may not see you, but so that I can feel you again. Thank you and I'll see you in other videos. Bye.